I feel like you're done and we're not even started yet. I feel like I'm like in an examination hall. <laughs> Honest to God. Do I need another pillow? Am I too short compared to you? I don't think. Oh, well, I mean, it's gonna look odd if you're on the same height as me when everyone knows you're a little short. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a really exciting video. I've got a very special guest with me today. So, so many of you on my Instagram have been requesting for us to do some kind of video together and for Alex to make an appearance on my YouTube channel. So here we are today, we're doing a bit of a boyfriend Q&A. And I know that there is a tag that's gone around which is like an official boyfriend Q&A, but I thought it'd be more fun to get you guys to ask the questions so that you can ask us some really specific things and we can answer them for you. So I've had a quick look at some of the questions. I think you've had a little look, haven't you? I've had a little peek, yes. A little peek. So we kind of know what some of the questions are. There were a few repeats, so I've just like written a few of them down on my notes app. I'm gonna get answering the questions for you. So let's jump straight into the video and jump into question number one. Did I actually introduce you? Did I say your name? I don't think you said my name. <laughs> I think you just went, wait, did you say my name? I'm too busy trying to This concentrate. is Alex. <laughs> no, um, so this is Alex. I don't think I said his name, but he's here joining me for the boyfriend Q&A. <laughs> this is going splendid. <laughs> okay, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so question number one, how did you meet? Well, I remember a lot of blue at a Smurf party. That's not how it No. Basically, I was dead romantic and went and found Ellie through knocking on a bunch of doors, asking people to play beer pong. <laughs> so we lived next door to each other at uni. We were in like flats almost next door to each other. And on the first night of uni, when everyone's like getting together and going out, um, I remember me and Alex, like Alex had knocked on the door and it wasn't even my flat, but for some reason I opened <coughs> the door. And he asked us all if we wanted to go play beer pong. And then when we got down to his flat, what did you do? I locked myself <laughs> out. <laughs> so I remember we ditched you because we were like, oh, we can't be bothered to wait around. Yeah. And then you went and played beer pong yourselves. Yeah. Without me. I remember that. I was very upset. <laughs> So yeah, we basically met at uni um, and then we kind of like were in the same friendship group so because we all lived together and stuff um, we became friends first and for a while we were like no no we're just friends we're just friends and everyone was like uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> okay question number two. Oh, this is an interesting one go on i feel like this is going to cause a domestic go on what is the one thing that annoys you most about each other oh. <laughs> Do not get me started. One thing. What is the one thing? <laughs> I mean, it, this is the first one that jumps out of my head. Oh, annoyingly <laughs> indecisive you are. My God, we would <laughs> starve to death if we left the decision to eat to you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm friend as Alex is like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, mm, I really fancy an Indian. Or do I want a burger? Oh, I don't know. Or he'll be like, do you want me to put this away? And I'm like, yes, please. As you know, leave it out. Oh, yeah, no, put it away. And he literally stands there for 10 minutes looking at me like... <laughs> <laughs> We'd literally get nothing done. We wouldn't even do anything. We'd just be sat here just doing nothing. <laughs> okay, my one, my one, one thing, is that if you tell Alex he does something, his immediate response is to deny it. Like, if you say to him, Alex, you left the glass up. No, I didn't. It's just, like, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. That is, no. So if not ever I true. tell Alex he's done something, his immediate response will be, no, I haven't. No, I didn't. And I'm just there, like. <laughs> she exaggerates that so much, it is criminal. <laughs> Question number three. This is a nice one. What's your favourite thing about each other? As <laughs> 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 if you brought that face, it take that long. Uh, do you want to go first, whilst I think? My favourite thing is that you're so thoughtful. <clears throat> Like everything you do, you're really, really thoughtful in what you're doing. Like you're always trying to like, <clears throat> do something for me. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think how caring you are. Like you're very passionate and very caring of others' feelings. Even when we're watching a film, <laughs> when it's all fictional and they don't, the characters don't exist, you will cry. We went, we're not even at romantic films. We went to go see that film, um, what's that one? The, the Arrival. One. Arrival, not romantic at all. <laughs> Near the end, floods of tears. 
Not even like just silently qui crying, crying, <laughs> <laughs> crying, like full on, like bawling my eyes, bawling out. her eyes out. It looked like I had just broken up with you or something. <laughs> I thought I, I was getting my evils. I was getting some looks. So you're, okay, so your favorite thing you've turned into a negative. <laughs> yes, it's not so good, is it? I think we should quit whilst we're here. <laughs> okay, question number four. This was from Phoebe. She said, Phoebe, does, he, Phoebe. <laughs> does he have any friends he can introduce me to? Yeah, but I mean, it's a bit of a commute to the Isle of Man, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think my audience know that that's where you're from originally. Well, it's a bit. T well, I was born in Yorkshire. It's Alex's Grew life story. I had a bit of a childhood around those parts, then moved to Isle of Man when I was about. 11, 12, no, 12, 13, and then I had spent the rest of my childhood there, and then that's where my mum and dad still live today. And then he came over to uni, and that's how we met at yeah. uni. So we're to, from two opposite ends of the UK. Yeah. And we met in the middle. Yeah, I mean, thank God I found a room in Halls, otherwise that commute would have killed me. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> that boat is a nightmare. Three hours. Okay, this is one for you. So someone said, for Alex, how do you feel about the fact that Ellie shares her life online? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I mean, to be fair, you're not... From the vloggers and other, you know, influencers he's showing me, you're not as online, as I would say, as much as they are. Yeah. Like, she's very good... I don't like daily vlog. Exactly. She's very good at, you know, when it's, you know me and you time and we're actually about enjoying each other's company you're very good at keeping you know your blog separate to us in that way thanks so i try yeah. to i try to keep it like separate because there's nothing worse than someone who doesn't want to be online like I, we did a q a on my insta stories recently and someone said like why do you never show alex and it's because he's got his own job like he's got his own life essentially and, and i'm he... camera shy so <laughs> as you can probably tell i don't think you can at all i think you're very not good on camera but you do just get a little bit awkward you just get a little bit like mm. well it's new to me yeah. I, I, you've been doing this for ages but yeah basically i try and keep life separate because at the end of the day that's my job and alex is outside of my job so i keep our life a little bit separate to like my online life. Even, all, well, although when you wrote me in to be your photographer <laughs> for hours and I when... I don't do too often though. No, not too often. And then... He is a very good Insta boyfriend, I will say. He's a very good photographer. Like a couple of years ago, I won uh, a photography award. <laughs> when I got the award, he was like, that is my award. I deserve that. <laughs> I've been told I have a natural eye. <laughs> um, does he ever get jealous of the freedom your job gives you? Honestly, yes, I do. I am, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I am so, so proud of her, but with everything she's achieved and done. Um, but it is, I do get a bit jealous with the freedom uh, she gets from doing her blog. I mean, working, you know, getting up at the crack of dawn, commuting uh, to the office half an hour, 45 minutes in the morning, that's with good traffic. And then working all day until, you know, five, six o'clock and then making the commute back. It's just, yeah, uh, I, I do get jealous of your freedom. It does inspire me in a way to try and, you know, build something myself and strive to uh, create in my own um, thing, whatever shape or form that takes. So. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe nice. <laughs> Sooner rather than later. Do you get on with each other's family? Well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to... hesitation, yes. No, I was going to say, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to be, you know, modest or anything, and I just feel bad for Matthew, because I know your mum wants to adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get on really well with each other's family. We're both really close to our family, um, and we're both really close to, like, each other's families. Um, so, obviously, we live mm. a lot closer to mine, so we see them more often, but then part of the reason why we have like a spare room and everything in a spare bed is so that when Alex's family comes to visit, they can come for as long as they want and stay over. And it's really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Annoyingly, I don't get to see my family that much. I mean, my mum and dad live on the Isle of Man, so I see them once in a blue moon. And my brothers both live up north back in Sheffield. So, and that's a hell of a drive just to, for the day. So, yeah. And I mean, they're both busy themselves, got their own lives. So... Yeah. But we're definitely close to them. 
Oh no, absolutely. Keep in touch. Like absolutely. We'll FaceTime all the time and ring each other. I mean, yeah. obviously with the pandemic, like we've not really been able to see anyone, no. but like we're still keeping in touch with everyone and we're definitely close to each other's families. Oh yeah, God yeah. Next question. <laughs> Does your height difference ever cause any major issues? <laughs> not until people comment that we're brother and sister. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. That was really awkward. So if anyone doesn't know, Alex is six foot three and I'm five foot exactly. I've actually had to put myself on like two pillows to try and make myself at least look semi your height and I'm still a little bit smaller. Um, so there is a big, like a major height difference between us, um, which I think we kind of are just used to and sometimes, sometimes I don't notice it until I see photos of us and I'm like, oh my God, is that what we look like when we go out in public or whatever? I don't think it's that big. I mean, there is a significant height it's difference. It's a yeah. three inches. Have you seen Shaquille O'Neal with his girlfriend? I mean, she it's not comes that up big. to his ankle practically. The guy's so tall. But it tall. is a big height difference. Like, yeah. The main thing, the main time we notice it is when we're putting things on walls, <laughs> like mirrors and picture frames. Oh yeah. In my last vlog, actually, I was showing you a picture frame that you put up, the one of your dad's painting. Yeah. And then the picture frame that I put up, and I got so many messages like crying at the fact that the picture frame you put up was literally like above my head, and the picture frame I put up was like direct to my eye line, but it meant that the picture frames were like this. It's okay. We've got our stool, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we've had to like, in the mirrors in the house, we basically have dedicated mirrors for me and dedicated mirrors for you. Because oh, we yeah. can't really it's see in the light. same mirror. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this is kind of similar, but this is, what does he think of you not having a nine to five job where you are free on evenings and weekends? I think what they mean by that is like, where I, like with my job, I don't really switch off a lot. So like obviously I'd load on a Sunday, so I'm working on right, a Sunday or like okay. in the evenings when we're watching TV, I'm sat on my laptop right. and you're screaming at me to get out. Okay. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I do understand, you know, she had, it, it takes a lot of maintaining and a lot of work to keep uh, her blog going, which requires her to work outside of, you know, the normal hours. Um, you keep saying my blog, but I think you just mean like everything. Well, yeah, your online. blog, your YouTube, Instagram, yeah. everything. We um, never really know what to call it, so we always just kind of call it my blog. Yeah, it's just easier. Um, it. I mean, there is li some moments when you know we're trying to spend a bit of time together watching, say, a film, and yeah, you know, I'm like, oh my god. I don't, I'm not a talker through a film, but I do like- You like to make comments. I like to make comments to know that we're both watching it, so it's, you know, we're watching it together. And then when I make a comment, and the feedback I get is tap, 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 tap. Yeah, it's, um... The thing Alex gets most annoyed about is that I like to sit on my phone, because like, I like to engage a lot on Instagram and engage with, like, my audience a lot. And so it means I'm on my phone a lot of the time. And like when we're sitting watching a film, I'll just be like sitting on my phone replying to comments or like DMing people. And he'll literally turn around to me and be like, we're watching the film, get off your phone. And I'm like, but I am watching the film. He's like, you're not watching the film, you're on your phone. I'm like, but I am watching the film. Unless you have eyes up here. <laughs> I mean. So yeah, he, it can be tiring sometimes, but like you are very understanding. I feel like you've got a very long tether, but when you reach the end of your tether, I'm like, okay, phone needs to go away. Yeah, I feel like if anything, I, I consider myself quite patient, but if I've yeah. lost patience, that's when you know you've we been do, out of We do try much. to at least have like one night a week where it's like, we'll sit down, watch a film, maybe order a takeaway and just enjoy each other's yeah. company so that we can really spend like quality time together. Yeah, and then she goes on her phone again. <laughs> Okay, um, how do you split the housework? Well, I practically do everything. <laughs> Shut up. I think we split it quite evenly because as you guys know, I can't cook to save my life. Like, anytime it's me cooking up for dinner, it'll be pasta, chicken and chips. Or toast. Or toast, yeah. And you, so struggle, Alex... and you struggle at the toast, which just blows my mind. I can do scrambled egg now, though. She, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Her... When she says she can do scrambled egg, she doesn't. She uses a mug. She has a mug, and that. she has a mug we're, with instructions on it. Up, put it in the microwave. That tells <laughs> her a step by step of what to do, okay, and it's okay. not even how you make a proper scramble. It is so rubbery. Oh. So housework wise, Alex does the cooking, but then I'd say I do most of like the washing, and like 
cleaning. I think we kind of split that quite evenly. So like when Alex yeah. cooks, I'll clean up afterwards. And then if I cook, Alex will clean up afterwards. <laughs> How do you say cook? If I make dinner, Alex will clean up afterwards. And then lunch, we kind of just make our own lunch. And yeah, I'd say we split it quite evenly. Like yeah. we just, and I mean, we there are times like... where I'm like, Alex, empty the blooming dishwasher. But I think we're both quite like on it. I mean, we don't like to live in a pigsty. Like we're both fairly clean people. So I think we're both quite on it with it. We just kind of like split it, whatever works best really. Yeah. Like a lot of the time when Alex was commuting to and from the office, I'd say I picked up more slack. And then if there's times where like I've got loads on and I'm really stressed out with work, he'll pick up more of the slack. Yeah, so it's just kind it's of about a give like, and take. Yeah, it's a give and take. So yeah, I think we split it quite well. Yeah. Okay, next question. Yeah. Um, how long have you been together? You are not thinking that hard about this question, you know the answer. <laughs> no, but it's getting pretty close. Three and close. a half years, roughly. Just say roughly. Okay, roughly, give or take, three and a half years. When's our anniversary? And this is back because I actually got this wrong one, yeah? October 16th. Is it the 16th or 17th? So let's get it wrong. It's the 16th. 2017, was it? Yeah, 2017. 16th so. October 2017. Yeah. Wow, that was a long time. We've been together a long time. I think. Um, when did you know it was the right time to live together? So well, this, it wasn't like... This is very different for us because we, as I said, like where we met at uni, we were in the same friendship group. We literally lived in flats next door. So we, you basically lived in our flat with all our friends. I mean... Because you didn't get on with your flat. So you basically moved in with us. Yeah, I mean, from the second you move into... I mean, if you if you start off in halls, from the second you move in, it's quite full on. I mean, yeah. everyone's in the same boat and you're living from with each other from the get-go. So in, we've always kind of... Yeah. Be, live together well, then, so, so never in had second that year moment. because we were in the same friendship group we all got housed together in second year um and i do i think we'd literally been dating for about a week when we decided to get the house and everyone's like do we do we get it like do we not what if anything yeah, like, broke it, up because it because we'd only just started dating but we just thought do you know what we'll be adults like if anything happens we'll just try and be yeah sure that, it. That, that's another thing as well like in your first semester at uni you've got a you know, after, after say about the first month, first mm -hmm. few weeks, you then need to start looking for a house together or figure out what you're going to do next year, which can be quite overwhelming really when you're still thing. getting to know each yeah. other and you don't know where you'll be next year, um, which can be a bit stressful. So we basically lived together from the get-go, so we never actually had that, are we ready to move in together? Because we basically lived together in first year, we lived in the same house in second year, like we had our own rooms, Third year, we lived in the same house again, and then we ended up getting our own flat. So it was always just a case of we just kind of always lived together, and it was just very like easy. I think we're both we like spending time together, and like we we. <laughs> but yeah, no, we never actually had that moment. Which actually, I remember we spoke about this when we got our flat, and we said, "Isn't it so weird that we've never had that little like talk like, are we ready to live together?" Because we just always did. Yeah, I know. It's just yeah. It's just kind of been the norm for us yeah. from, since we met. I can't imagine not living with you. Well, I mean, we did do that over summer with you. Like, we went two months. Just the effect to have on ladies. Isn't it? <laughs> Shut. <laughs> okay, um, this is quite a good one. Describe the other person in one word. Unlivable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be serious. Describe me in one word. Um. Should I do mine? I yeah, yeah, mine. you do yours. Okay, if I was to describe Alex in one word, it would be kind. Because he is one of the kindest people I know. Like, he really cares about things. And that's one of the first things that I remember my parents said about you. They were like, he just seems like a really kind person. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what's well, mine? Describe me in one word. And if it's small, I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. Um, well, it is like, how can you define someone by one word? Well, I just did. I mean, kind. Part of me, but okay. No, 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 no. I would say if I had to describe it by one word, joy, because That's quite cute. Thanks. literally there is never a moment when she's you know or be happy. Even when she's feeling a bit down, she's always quite. She keeps her charisma, 
she's still, you know, just positive vibes about her. Uh, That's really cute. Thank you. Take note, guys. <laughs> Take note. Okay, this is the last question now. I mean, if any of you guys have boyfriends that need tutorials, I'll start up my own YouTube if you like. Just email me. They would love it if you started your own YouTube. People always get, I always get comments about you. Like, where's Alex? Why is it the picture? Why do you think I'm I just got lipstick on me now. Sorry. Okay. Last question. Okay. What is one piece of advice that you would give to other couples? Find someone who is relatively the same height as you. That way all of <laughs> All the furniture and decor won't be all zigzaggy. I am joking. <laughs> Should I go first? Yeah. Because I've already thought of one. Go on. So I would say find someone that at the end of the day is your best friend over anything else. Like I'd say we, which I think was what is why we did just say that we were just friends at the start because we we're just so goofy together and like we just make each other laugh more than anything else. And so... Even though we liked each other, I think we just saw like such a strong friendship and then we realised that actually like there was something more. Yeah, we kind of just so. clicked, like there wasn't really any awkwardness No, there honest. wasn't, we just always kind of like just got on and like annoyed each other. We yeah. are really annoying as well, like we wind each other up so much and that's part of the reason why we work. Like I remember I think your mum said to me like, I don't know how you guys put up with each other, you're just so annoying. I'm like, yeah, I know. But I think if only one of us was annoying, it wouldn't work. We both have to be annoying. I think if we started one of those, you know, on your YouTube, one of those practical joke segments where we could <laughs> run around, you know, throwing flour at each other and chucking cold water at each other in the showers, that would be the end of it. Just, <laughs> that would finish us. Okay, what's your piece of advice? I think my piece of advice um, would be to not just rush into the idea of having, you know, having a partner to kind of understand what you are looking for in a partner mm -hmm. and just really kind of see where the relationship takes you. See if they are what you are... Uh, what you're looking for. See if they are what you look, you, that you are looking for, that you're compatible, that it's, a, you know, not just a one-way streak. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, with any relationship, it's always a give and take. And if you're not willing to uh, give and you just take, 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 then it's just going to all just mm. crumble. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> yeah, I've kind of left left that on quite a deep... That was quite a deep question, though. Deep question. A piece of advice yeah. for other couples. But yeah, how's, how's your experience been coming on my channel? You enjoyed yourself? Uh, yeah, it's been fab, fab, thank you. I feel like I'm on, uh, what, what, what's that talk show called okay. with James Corden? Late Late Show. Yeah, I feel like I'm on the Late Late Show. Is it Late Late or Late Night Show? No, it's Late Late, late, show. late show. Yeah. So thanks for having me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that was our boyfriend q and I hope you guys enjoyed having Alex on my channel. I've had so many requests for him to come on, and I finally managed to persuade him. Let us know if you want to see any other videos. We could do, like... I'm really wanting to do like a boyfriend does my ASOS order because I think it'll be very interesting seeing what you pick for me. Sure. I think that'll be really interesting. So let us know if you want to see that and I'll get him on for more videos. I mean, I am amazed that some of the items you get are actually pieces of clothes. One time I thought it was a tea towel that you were saying. <laughs> I, I just don't get women's fashion. <laughs> obviously so let us know if you want to see that video and please do be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in my next video bye